Welcome to Threaded South. My name is Ashley and in this tutorial you will learn how to make a liquid text effect inspired by this here paper planes design. Now this tutorial is a part of my copycat series where I mimic some of the most popular streetwear designs today and also you can get this text effect for free. Everything will be linked in the description box below. But before we begin, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is create a new document, set the width to 12 inches by 16, 300 dpi, and CMYK. Create a new color fill layer and fill it with D3, D7, D4. Grab your type tool and type out the word save. I will be using the font Duval and the size will be 120 and the color I will be using is black. Now change the vertical scale to 140%. Now we're going to warp the text. Change the style to art and the bend should be 13%. Now double click this layer and apply a bevel and emboss. Change the style to inner bevel. Technique should be chisel hard and the depth should be 32. Change the size to 54. Soften should be three. For gloss contour, select this one. Change the highlight mode to linear dodge add and the color should be E9B047. And change the opacity to 100%. For shadow mode, change it to vivid light. And the color should be EE6965. And change the opacity to 100%. Now click on contour and change it to the last one in the first row and change the range to 20%. Now click on inner shadow. Change the blend mode to hard mix. And the color should be 05645C. And change the opacity to 65%. The distance should be 20. Choke should be 42 and the size should be 38. Click on contour and select the last one in the first row. Now apply an inner glow. Change the blend mode to color. The opacity should be 100% and the color should be FED 711. Change the technique to softer and the source should be center. Change choke to zero and the size should be 84. For contour, select the second one in the second row. Now click on satin and change the blend mode to normal and the color is FCEE27. And the opacity should be 100%. Change the angle to 41 degrees, the distance should be 27, the size should be 21, and the contour should be the last one in the first row. And make sure invert is unchecked. Now let's apply a gradient overlay. Change the blend mode to color. And the opacity should be 100%. For the first stop, let's use the color 4F93CF. And for the second color stop, use 79CCC4. Change the angle to 34 degrees and the scale should be 124%. Change the method to classic. Now let's apply another gradient overlay. For this one, change the blend mode to overlay.
And for the first color stop, let's use the color E5CF56. For the second color, use E95255. For the third color, use 87CB9E. For the fourth color, use BB228E. And for the last color, use 00A0CA. Change the angle to 47 degrees and the scale should be 84%. Now click on OK. Now we are gonna create a new group and rename this group to Save Text Effect. Drag your text layer and place it within the group. Double click this layer and let's apply a bevel and emboss. Change the depth to 1000%. Size should be 46 pixels, soften should be 2. Change highlight to lighten. And the color should be 6BC289. And for shadow, change it to color burn and the color should be DE. 2991 and change the opacity to 75%. Now let's apply a contour and change it to the second one in the second row and the range should be 18%. Now add an inner shadow. Change the blend mode to multiply and the color should be 040505. Change opacity to 100%. And the distance should be 4. The choke should be 0. And the size should be 29 pixels. Change the contour to the very first one. Now grab your type tool and I'm going to type out yourself and I will use the same font that we used previously, making it all caps. And for the warp, I will be changing the bend to 25%. Now right click and copy layer style and right click paste layer style. Add another group, just like we did with the previous layer. Now we're gonna right click the group and convert to Smart Object and do the same with the other text as well. Now on the bottom text, we're gonna apply a wave effect. Go to Filter, Distort Wave, and your number of generators should be 63, wavelength 278 and 283, 3 and 4. Scale should be 54 and 52. Type should be triangle and wrap around. Now we're gonna add a path blur. Change the speed to 33% and the taper should be 8% and make sure the arrow is facing downward. And click OK. Now select the Smart Filters Mask and grab your brush tool. And here we're going to mask away the top portion of the word. And as you can see here, once you select your selection tool, you can easily move this mask up and down.
And if you ever need to change the text, you can always double click inside the smart object. And so here I'm going to change the word to love. And then once you do that, make sure you go up to file, save, and then it will update in your document. And if your word is a bit longer, you can always change the size of the canvas and do like before, make sure you file, save, and you can update your text. And that is how you make a liquid text effect. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to grab some merch, head on over to threadsouth.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.